So today we're going to be discussing one of my favorite brands for my Designer Bag Collection 2024 series. Yes, it's a whole series. Playlist will be down in the description. But we're going to be diving into my Fendi collection. Now this collection used to be a little bit bigger. I sold a couple to buy the Birkin. Even though I don't have a lot of Fendi bags, Fendi's one of my favorite houses. So I wanted to do it justice and give it its own video. But before we dive into all that, guys. Hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content. When you ask, well, every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below below. Consider joining our membership. We have an awesome engaged community, perks, access, meetups, a discord, you name it, early, early video releases. But let's dive into my Fendi collection. I only have three bags. In my humble opinion, they're pretty, pretty fantastic. A couple of rare, one made to order. So I'm going to save like my ultimate favorite peekaboo for last because as you all know, I am peekaboo obsessed. As I was saying before, I used to have four peekaboos, sadly sold two, but they both went to great homes. First up, we have this gorgeous blue. This is from the Celeria collection. Now, when it comes to the Celeria collection, each of these is hand sewn. I think, gosh, I want to say it takes a hundred and almost 200 stitches, if I remember right, to, to hand stitch a peekaboo. Don't quote me on that. Now, the Celeria collection, this is peak pinnacle Fendi. It does not get much better than this, except this one is a made to order. So with Celeria, you'll be able to tell that it's a Celeria first by the Romano calfskin. Aside from Togo, this is some of the most glorious pebble leather you will ever feel in your life like I promise you it is phenomenal with this one the original owner the creator if you will decided to go with this gorgeous almost almost blue jean it's a little bit darker than blue jean a little less vibrant with gold hardware it's this beautiful brushed gold and then inside you have just the jute canvas lining and then that gorgeous sterling silver plaque made to order Fendi Celeria I absolutely love this bag. Now, I was actually carrying this when I went to pick up my Hermes Kelly. So I was carrying one blue bag to buy another blue bag. I know, I love that for me. I don't know, there's just something special about the Fendi Peekaboo. Like, if you have a chance to add one to your collection, like, I cannot recommend it enough. These bags are so easy to use. And what I love about them is they have those two different openings. You have one on the back, one on the front, and it helps kind of keep me organized. Like, I'll keep my more important stuff maybe in the back and stuff that I just want to grab quickly, like my sunglasses or my chapstick for my posh toilet I'll keep here in the front like it is literally one of my favorite bags now being that it is that thick Romano calfskin it is a little heavy not gonna lie she, she's hefty in my dream scenario I would like to add more peekaboos to my collection I mean I, I would always love another peekaboo but I think next I would like either the mini or maybe even the medium next just something a little bit more manageable for every day Fendi peekaboo absolutely love amazing bag. Now up next I have one of my favorite top handles to share with you guys and I know for a fact this is also one of my husband's favorite bags of mine in my collection. This is my Fendi.com. This collection was phenomenal. Like I absolutely loved all the bags from this collection. You had two sizes. You had the Fendi.com and then there was the .com click. See what they did there? I love Fendi's play on words. The .com click came with chains a little bit smaller but still freaking cute. I love these bags. Now with the .com these were originally introduced in 2016 when Fendi first joined the World Wide Web with their e-commerce site. Now for the first season you could only order the Fendi.com at you guessed it, Fendi.com. Love that for us. It's a beautiful, smooth calf skin, and it's very rigid. It's very structured, which I absolutely love. This one, just like the Peekaboo, you have two compartments. You have one here on the front. You have one here on the back side. Tons of pockets on the inside as well. A beautiful Alcantara lining. Now, with this one, you also have a gorgeous Elif snake skin. I think it's a water snake here across the handle and on both zipper poles. And what's really cool about this bag, the handle here is spring-loaded. So once you pull it up and let go, every single time it just thwops right back into place which is so freaking cool now with the fendi.com you can see there are two eyelets here on the back side for a beautiful thick web strap that would have matched the snake skin sadly i bought mine not knowing it wasn't included fashion file had the wrong photo up showing a strap and here we are, I never got a strap, but they did give me 10% off my order, which was amazing. When I got them, they weren't quite popular again yet. I think I only paid $5.50 for mine. I think they have the same colorway in a much rougher condition for about $8.50. So some good deals can still be had out there when it comes to the Fendi.com, but just make sure to shop around. There's, there's some beautiful examples, but for some reason, people just didn't treat them well. So oftentimes you'll find them kind of looking a little rough. Now, one really cool feature about the Fendi.com is the inner pouch. Now, we all love when we get more bang for our buck, and this is like two bags in one. It's like a two in one here. So with this, you have the bag and this really cool conical stud here on the front. Well, that is holding 
the interior pouch in place, which is also stamped Fendi. So this is great if you have the big handbag in your car, you just need to run into the store or pick up like, I don't know, dry cleaning, you need something to carry your ticket in, throw it here in this pouch and tuck it under your arm, you are good to go. And then once you're back in the car and you're ready to put it back in, it just slides right back into place like such and you're good to go. I love this bag, you guys. I cannot talk about it enough. This was a good buy. I don't think this will ever leave my collection. This is another Fendi Celery Peekaboo. It's not a made to order, but it is quite possibly one of the most stunning handbags in my collection. So of course we have the Romano calfskin, the hand stitch detail. Let me, let me wow you for a moment. Give me that opportunity. When you open up the front pocket, you are met with beads and embroidery. And this bag, you guys, literally weighs a ton. Like this is easily one of my most heavy handbags. I don't carry it often. I will be completely frank with you. A couple of reasons why, like I said, it is heavy. Not only do you have that thick Romano calfskin, which we all know and love, it is covered with thousands of beads on the interior, which just adds to the weight. I have never taken this shopping. That's a lie. It's probably gone to Target with me, but it is just such a heavy bag and in such a light color. I, I preserve this one, if you will. I only carry this one a few times a year, but just having something so special in my collection, I've never seen another one exactly like this one. So I know that I would never be able to replace it if something were to happen to it. So I just I just keep this one in the best shape that I can. And I love this bag, you guys. If you can find a Fendi Peekaboo, make sure to get one with a really special interior because I, every time I open this up and show people, like jaws drop, hit the floor, stars in their eyes. Like this is one of the most beautiful bags I have ever seen. And it's mine. I love that. <laughs> Fendi will always have a special place in my heart. I Some of my most fun bags have come from Fendi. Let me know in the comments, like, which was your favorite Fendi bag of my collection? Was it the Fendi.com? Was it the made-to-order Celeria Peekaboo? Was it the beaded Peekaboo? They're all amazing in my opinion, so I can't pick a favorite, but you can. So let me know in the comments. So when it comes to Burberry, I think, and, and if you disagree with me, just know now you are wrong. I said what I said, save space. But Christopher Bailey era Burberry is just peak Burberry. What he did for the brand and what he was able to do with the Burberry pour some line was unmatched. Like those are some of the best runways to this day. And if you disagree, I will fight you down in the comments. My favorite runway show of all time has to be Christopher Bailey's Burberry pour some autumn winter 2012 and from that I have collected a couple of handbags and the search is ever continuing because I, I it's like Pokemon I gotta have them all but the first one that I added in my collection was the Burberry Fox with the quilted Napa leather now like I said this was on the runway it was shown in both black and like a really beautiful shade of forest green because I think the overall theme of that show was town and country so you had like fun country aesthetics like this quilting is very reminiscent of like an English hunting jacket you of course have the fox I just loved the motifs from this collection so there were several that were done in clutches some were done in like the barrel bags or the orchard bag which had just I think debuted that year adding this to my collection I was over the moon I think I unboxed this or at least revealed this early on in my channel this is just kind of spurred if you will a passion for 2012 Burberry like uh, I'm constantly searching for more like I said, I've got a bit of a problem when it comes to Burberry Autumn Winter 2012. I added another bag to my collection not long after. I added the fox. I had to have the hound. <laughs> It's like, is there, is, there, is there a group for this? Seriously, guys, this collection is just peak Burberry. It's beautiful. It's made in Italy. It's Burberry Porsome, after all. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm loving what Daniel Lee is doing with the brand, but Christopher Bailey is just on another level. Like, he understood the brand, the heritage, and where it should be moving forward. Now, when it comes to these country animals, these emblems were actually made through what's called the Lost Wax Method. And essentially, it's just lost wax, and it's a method. That's how we make, that's how we make wax castings. That's amazing. It's science. And I actually went into great detail on my original Burberry runway video that I did. Again, be very kind. It's cringe. It's old. It's, it's, it's 2021. I think it's, it's bad. This bag, you guys, is absolutely phenomenal. And it actually led to a mistake with my next purchase. It's kind of hilarious. Now, when you're like me, when you're a, a an avid handbag collector, you're going to forget what you have and what you don't have sometimes. And I made a very expensive mistake. Well, not a mistake, a mistake nonetheless. I thought I had a bag that I didn't. I honestly thought that instead of the hound, I had the emerald green owl clutch. So I went into Burberry. This was during the Ricardo era. I bought a wallet for a bag I don't have because that's just who I am, that's what I do. But I picked up the Lola wallet in the pistachio green because I'm like, oh, that'll look amazing with the green owl that I apparently didn't have. 
So this wall, you guys, super freaking cute. This is probably the only, aside from a lot of ready to wear over the years, the only thing that I've ever purchased brand new from Burberry. It's super cute and it, it still goes with the, the clutches that I have. I just wish that I had the owl clutch already. Like if anyone has seen the owl clutch, let me know because I, I, I want it. <laughs> All right, this was short and sweet. I only have a few pieces of Burberry leather goods in my collection, sadly. Hopefully that changes in 2024. But next up is the Buckley Toe. <laughs> Fans of King of the Hill, we just have to say Buckley like that, otherwise it doesn't count. But this bag is my rainy day bag, if you will. So in my collection, I have a lot of beautiful leather bags and I'm like, I just need something to like bum around in the rain. And this, you guys, just does not disappoint. It's just nylon, like it's super simple. You probably saw these at like all the Von Mar counters and Neiman Marcus Nordstrom, like these were just like a department store staple for those that had Burberry counters. And I didn't buy it at the time. I think I actually found this on shopgoodwill.com for like next to nothing. And when it arrived, it was. Is literally so disgusting both inside and out. Listen guys, those Shop Goodwill ads, they can either like surprise you with how amazing they are or they can hide a multitude of sins in those photos and they can be so gross, so dirty. This one's straight into the washing machine, you guys. I did it. Like not normally something that I would say, hey, throw your bag in the washing machine. But guys, this was so far gone. Like I think it was like 80 bucks or something for a Burberry tote. I'm like, okay, you know, if it doesn't come out perfect or if it falls apart in the wash, like no love lost, right? But guys, it actually came out like beautifully clean. The interior has a couple of spots still, but it's done in that beautiful tartan lining that Burberry is popular for. And this has come in clutch on some very rainy Chicago days. And that is it for my Burberry collection so far for 2024. Now, like I said, if you want to see more amazing 2024 designer handbag content, well, what did I say? Go and check out the playlist down below in my description. There's going to be a ton of different brands in there, both luxury and contemporary. And I think there, I, I have some gems in my collection, so definitely go and check it out. Anyway, guys, until next time, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.